Should you upgrade your guitar's tuners with higher quality tuning machines or should you just replace them with locking tuners? We'll discuss those questions and more coming up. A few months ago, I picked up uh, this Ibanez AS73 on Facebook Marketplace for I think around $400. Uh, you probably saw the video I had uh, comparing this one to an Epiphone ES339. But there were a few things that I wasn't quite happy with with this guitar and I swapped the pickups out. I changed the nut out to a Tusk nut. And the last piece of the puzzle is I wanted to change the tuners on this guitar too. Uh, just because they're not terrible, but they're about 80% of what I expect from a guitar. You know, I've, I've owned 60 something guitars and I've probably swapped the tuners out on at least 40% of them. It's just something I like to do. Generally, I like to put locking tuners, more on that later on my guitar. But I'll tell you what was wrong with these. Uh, on three of these tuners, when I would start to tune, it would like spin a little bit and then it would catch hold. It was minimal and it was very unpredictable, or it is minimal and it is very unpredictable on this guitar, but it was enough to irritate me and to force me to tune more often than I feel like I should have if I was at a gig or if I was filming. And I just finished filming an entire course on the blues on this guitar with these tuners. So they worked good enough, but it's not quite up to my standards. So I figured I would put some new tuners on and I was gonna go with some uh, just standard run-of-the-mill Goto non-locking tuners just to have something not that expensive, but you know, fairly good quality that was reliable. But I figured, you know, I really like locking tuners and I'll share more on that later. But so I decided, well, okay, what can I put on here where I don't have to drill holes in my guitar? And I end up getting some hip shot locking tuners. I've never had hip shot, hip shot stuff before, but I've heard really good things about them and they're reasonably priced. Um, so I tried decided to pick them up and they have one feature that you might really like if you don't, you're not a fan of drilling new holes into your guitar that I'll share with you when I put them on. And all this is, is gonna be my opinion on this. Like I said, I've owned 60 guitars and I've changed tuners on probably at least a third of them. So that's 20 guitars I've done this with. So this is just gonna be my opinion. Feel free, uh, actually do more than that. Please leave your comments below on what your opinion is on what tuners you like. Uh, if locking tuners are a good idea or not. So before I put these new tuners on and give my, you know, thumbs up or thumbs down verdict on them, I just want to go through four little points that we can have a little discussion about here um, that may help you if you're thinking about changing the tuners on your guitar, the tuning keys on your guitar, right? Uh, first off, if you haven't replaced your nut or checked your nut for tuning problems, do that first. That might be a really simple and a lot less expensive fix for you than changing all your tuning keys out. Uh, I did replace, like I said, this nut on this guitar with a Tusk nut, and it took care of, it made it better, let's say that. Okay, now, if you have changed your nut out and you're still having problems like me on this guitar, I noticed some catching or like it's kind of some kind of stalling when I uh, tune it. It's not consistent around the entire you know, rotation of the tuning key, but it's enough and it's on like three of them to where it really kind of irritates me. It doesn't say as good as it should. Then I would look at getting some new tuners. And number three is I wouldn't necessarily choose locking tuners over standard tuners. The, really the only reason that I like locking tuners is because it makes changing strings a lot faster and a lot easier. Um, does it make your tuning stability a little stronger? Maybe, probably a tiny little bit, but I haven't noticed enough if you have a really good set of non-locking tuners on your guitar. The main reason for me anyways is to make string changes faster. Leave a comment below if you find that to be the case or if it's different for you. Okay, and finally number four, if you are planning on changing your tuning keys out on your guitar, make sure that you double check, triple check uh, your specs and what exactly it is that you want and need for your exact guitar before you buy them. I almost bought the wrong tuning keys for this guitar um, because I was looking around at some other brands uh, like Spurzel and uh, go to, like I said. But uh, check the width of the peg and the hole of the guitar you have, right? The hole for the actual tuning key. Check, uh, is it three by three or six in line on, you know, when you're actually buying it, don't order the wrong one accidentally like I almost did. Um, and then another thing you're gonna wanna check is if you have a six in line, are they staggered? That means are the posts get shorter as you go down the headstock. You, if your guitar calls for that, you definitely want to do that. There are some options for guitars that don't need that too. Okay, let's take a look at actually getting these tuners on this guitar. There's a feature about these that I'm really excited to show you, and I hope it works really well because if it does, it'll be a big problem solver for a lot of you guys out there. Let's take a look. 
All right, let's take a look at the tuners first. Again, uh, hip shot, locking tuners, open back. Um, now, the cool thing about these is you don't have to drill new holes in your guitar. It comes with these mounting plates that serve as kind of the, the I don't know, fastener, or screw hole, whatever. You'll see when I get them on there. Uh, so the only tool you really need to get these on is either a socket to get these collets off or one of these things. I love this tool. I use it all the time. Uh, it's made by ESP. And it's for undoing uh, like guitar jacks, sockets like this, or uh, nuts like this, and then even popping uh, volume knobs and things like that off. So that's what we get for that. That's all I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna get the strings off and we'll go. Okay, got the strings off. Now uh, for this little guy, all you have to do, loosen these. This is cool because you can't really scratch the way it works. You can't really scratch the surface of a guitar, which is nice. If you do this with pliers or even some, well, I guess not a socket, it's pretty safe too. Any other tool beside a socket, it's really easy to scratch a guitar and those come off. And again, if you're paranoid about like drilling an extra hole into your guitar for screws like this, if they're not the right exact match, Screws like screws like that, you may have to drill one like down here flush in the middle or something like that. And I've done that before. It's not the worst thing in the world, but you do end up scarring your guitar with extra holes and stuff. So And since the original tuners do have screws on the back, I do need a screwdriver too to finish this job. So Okay, there's an old tuner. There's the new one. And the, like to me, like the, the open exposed gears look really cool. I like the way they look. They feel, they feel really good. Well, there's no string tension on them. There's the lock mechanism right there, right? Okay, I'll get these on. I'll show you how the, um, I think they call it the universal mounting plate. This thing. Uh, show you how that works. Get those on. All right, out with the old and with the new. Let's see. So I guess first thing, what in the flippity flow? Okay, big time out. Stop, pause. Um, what happened was uh, the, pe the, the reseller I bought this from sent me the wrong universal mounting backplate. Um, it was a solo, I don't wanna get this wrong, solo music gear. And this is a good story, I'm glad this happened uh, because I emailed them and said, hey, you sent me the wrong backplate. You sent me the one for the six in line instead of you know three times three. And the very, I also emailed Hipshot at the same time, at night, like at one in the morning. The very next day, like eight hours later for both of them, they both emailed me back and said, hey, what's your address? We'll ship you the right one. And then uh, I got back to the, the, the reseller first, so he sent them to me, it was right on the way. And then uh, Hipshot got back to me and said the exact same offer. Hey, what's your address? We'll send you some new ones. So um, A plus for customer service, not only from the manufacturer, but from the vendor as well. All right, got the new mounting plates. Uh, they say stick the one with one tab down first, then the one with two tabs down. Then, uh, let's see. Other side. Stick through. It seems fairly simple. It's very, it is a little bit specific though, so just make sure you read the directions. And then it says put the collets and washers on loosely and then you line them up. And I'll give um, some tips for changing strings with locking tuners here uh, as we go through this washer. And it says to kind of, just to make sure that these are aligned. Because uh, instead of screwing, you have these little tabs on here to keep the, um, the tuner from going, uh, from spinning when you, uh, when you turn it. So I'll just turn this over real quick. This is pretty neat. This is much faster than uh, drilling new holes, pilot holes and then new holes, you know. Because you can see the holes, I don't know if you can see the holes don't line up. Old hole, new hole would be dead in the center. Yeah, so. And if you're worried about uh, 
this adding weight to your guitar. The plates weigh almost nothing. Like I just, they're so light. It's, it seems like it's just a few grams each, so. Gonna check the tightness of each tuning key as well. That could be something that's annoying. If it's too loose, then it can just really mess with the way it stays in tune and functions. They all feel good though, feel like they should. I'm just gonna wipe this off as well. Like, <laughs> I don't know if you've ever changed tuners on a guitar before, but that was super easy. Hopefully, um, I like the quality of when I get it strung up. Let's go ahead and put some strings on it. Uh, I already ball 9.5s. Uh, and I'll give you some tips for changing strings on um, if you've never done uh, locking tuners before too. All right, so loosen that locking part. Line it up. Put in a little bit more since this is lower strings a little bit fatter. Okay, so I used to uh, just pull all the way through as tight as I could and then tighten up. That way it made string changing uh, as fast as possible. But Lately, I've been doing, leaving a little bit of slack just because if, if uh, something funny happens and your string breaks and you need to feed it back through, um, that's doable if you have a little bit of slack. So tighten it finger tight. And uh, like on, on the higher strings, if you do crank it down like super hard, you can kink it to the point to where this integrity of the string is compromised and it's more prone to break. But just finger tight, super snug, but not like just hulking on it is generally good. And then if you do it like this on um, locking tuners, which is cool, I always double check after I just, uh, string it up and tighten it up because inevitably there is some slack in the locking tuner. And for, if you've never seen locking tuners before, all it is is this mechanism that you tighten down and it pushes a pin up against the string. It just makes string changing faster. I don't find that it has much of an effect on tuning stability. I mean, I'm sure it does a little bit, but as far as string slippage and things like that and stuff like that. But um, the main thing for me is just a quick string changes. And when you do it like this, you can just bend it forth, back and forth and break it off. That way, this one's being stubborn that way. You won't poke yourself with it. That's really cool. But those are the main things uh, for tuning. Then seat it, stretch it just like you normally would. And they, well, <laughs> I don't know, I'll have to play on it some, but they feel, they feel pretty nice so far. And I really love, uh, I don't know if you can see, the open back design. I think that's really cool looking where you can see the brass. They feel really good though, we'll see how they perform. All right, got them on. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but this video is not sponsored. I bought these with my own money. Hipshot hasn't talked to me at all, because what I'm about to say is gonna sound really fanboy. Instantly when I just tuned the guitar up, way better, way better than the stock tuners that came on this Ibanez. So if you have a guitar that's like, uh, you know, zero to around eh, six or seven hundred dollars, you might want to consider, number one, changing the tuners out, it'll help your life a lot. And I guess the, the main question that I kind of wanted to address in this video was, do you need to upgrade your tuners on your guitar? And I would say the first thing would be, is your nut cut properly and is is your nut your problem first? If you've addressed that and you still have problems and you feel like your tuners are kind of uh, catching or like you, you turn them and it, you turn it a little bit and then it takes off and catches, something like that, if there's a little gap or glitch in them, then I would say yes, change your tuners. Um, I've owned uh, Spurzel tuners on my Tele, I've owned uh, Grover tuners on uh, the Les Pauls that I've had, and these are as good, if not better than all of those. Uh, these feel pretty close up to there with my PRS tuners, which is great, the Long King tuners on there. And they feel really good. How uh, they stay in tune. Which is exactly what I was looking for. So put this, you know, relatively inexpensive guitar over the line as far as like, hey, I feel really confident in taking this out. It's not gonna annoy me going out of tune or anything, but I did change the nut and I did put these new tuners on here. And these, uh, these are around a hundred bucks uh, Canadian. I think I'll put the exact price up here, but Honestly, guys, I didn't feel like dropping $200 on Spurzel or, uh, you know, Grover locking tuners that I had my eyes on. So I decided to give these a shot. And uh, I thought the universal mounting plates, 
let me get that out of the way for you. Um, where it might be a little bit gimmicky, some, you know, gimmick at first, but it was really easy. It made changing tuners really easy, and I don't see a downside to them. They're super light. I don't even notice a difference. Um, so if you've been looking to change your tuners on your guitar and you don't want to deal with drilling new holes or you don't want to spend $200 on tuners, yeah, I would recommend these. These are pretty Pretty great. Now, for the last question, should you get locking tuners, upgrade to locking tuners on your guitar? Um, not necessarily, I don't think. Uh, the main thing to me, I mean, I mentioned this while I was changing the strings, is locking tuners cut down on my string change time a lot. That's the only reason that I use them. Yeah, they may give you a little bit more tuning stability, you know, two, three, four, five percentage more tuning stability. I've never noticed that as much. Uh, the main thing is, to me is just saving time, so. If you're into that and you just want to kind of personalize and modify your guitar to play and be as um, efficient as possible, yeah, get locking tuners. If that's not important to you, you know, don't worry about spending the extra money. If you're not having those issues with tuning, you know, the little gap or a jump when you're tuning, then um, I wouldn't worry about it. All right, that's it for this video. Uh, thank you so much. I'm kind of glad that I had that uh, the problem with the back place because it gave me an opportunity to showcase uh, the customer service, not only from uh, the reseller, but also uh, from the actual vendor and manufacturer of this product. So that's kind of bad for me, good for you. I, I started filming this video three or four weeks ago, and now I'm just finishing it up. So, but it worked out great. I'm very happy with this. And let me know in the comments below what are your favorite uh, replacement tuners or locking tuners that you've used or replaced on uh, your guitar. And it doesn't have to be a cheap guitar, too. I've, I've played really expensive guitars where the tuners are like, eh. Not so great, leave those in the comments below. We'll see you later. Bye.